Now, when we have uh, the privilege here at Trinity Church to have missionaries come in from all over the world to give a report, but sometimes when somebody lives local, uh, we, we kind of miss them. So we actually have a report here from Dale and Marty Fisher. Let's give them a warm well, well, well welcome. Let me go ahead and step. Dale and Marty are with Transformational Leadership Movement, part of CREW. And Dale, why don't you tell us a little bit about what's going on? Good morning. Basically, in TLM, we train multiplying church leaders. And we're active in Kenya, Cameroon, Zimbabwe, and Ethiopia at the moment. We mainly train in leadership things, but we start out and we train people in a basic uh, way to reach out to people within their circles of influence called prayer, care, share. And prayer, care, share is basically what the three words say, what they mean. You go and ask a person if you can pray for them, and then you pray for that person, take their prayer request, then you come back and see how God has answered, and while you're doing this, you're building a relationship and looking for ways to show acts of kindness, to care for that person. And then eventually they'll probably say, why are you so different? Why do you love me? And you can share your personal God story as well as the gospel with that person. And in 2012, we taught Pastor Promise in Cameroon, in the high mountains of Cameroon, how to do this. And he had 99 people at his church at that time and no small groups. And he, uh, he liked it and he took it and he taught the people in his church how to do prayer, care, share. One of the people he taught was a lady named Victorine. Victorine lived very high in the mountains and even higher than her was a neighbor. And she started praying for this neighbor, a blind man named David, and then went to see him and take care of him. And she prayed for him, and she saw that his house was dirty, and so she swept his house. She came back another time and brought him a bed sheet and brought him some tea, and later actually came and brought some friends, and they cleaned up his, his, uh, his front yard and things like that. And he was very touched, and so he started going to Pastor Promises Church where he came to Christ. And so that's an exciting story. And when I visited Pastor Promise in November of last year, he moved from 99 to 500 people in his congregation and from zero to 34 groups. And his church had expanded it so much the number of people, they had to build a brand new building to fit all the people. So it's exciting to see God work overseas. Oh, and this Tuesday, speaking about overseas, this Tuesday I'm going on a similar type of trip to Kenya for two weeks. Sounds like some very exciting ministry that's happening there. Uh, do you have any th exciting things going on with the family there, Marty? Oh, always, yeah. Just a little report on the Fisher A-team, starting with Anna married to David, and they have moved closer to us and now have a house. Andrew and his fiance Liz are going to get married June 6 in Fairbanks, Alaska. Ada and her fiance Corey are going to get married June 21st in Riverside. And Abby, our daughter who lives and works in North Africa, we're going to get her for the summer in about a month. And her boyfriend is visiting her right now. So say a little prayer as, yeah, you know what I mean. Okay. <laughs> well, as, uh, as we continue to worship in song, if you'd keep, uh, the, keep the Fishers' trip and their family in prayers as we worship this morning. <laughs> 